Smell that? It does stink. It smells like wet dog. Yeah. I think I just stepped into something here. Maria Mayer and her team sets off in the middle of the uncontrolled wilderness, among rumors of myth and legend. Ronnie? Yeah, look at this. To discover the truth about one of the world's rarest species. And they finally found some evidence that they have decided to not release in public. Join a team on Expedition Bigfoot on their daring adventure deep into the forest in search of a fabled species that has escaped humanity for decades. Huge rocks come flying out of the trees. Oh, really? You know, they just don't want people around. Do they mention the word Bigfoot? Or uh, I've heard the term Kushtaka. Gagi. There's always been stories of something hmm. in those neck of the woods. But as they explore deeper into the enigma, one fascinating question lingers. What secrets are they hiding in the forest's shadowy depths? Did they really catch a Bigfoot? Let's find out. It's not like they were. There's something in here. Shh, 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 shh. something behind us. If there's something in here that wants to get out, we're gonna be in a bad spot. In the middle of the forest, between the dense trees and terrifying silence, the Expedition Bigfoot team is on the scent of something mysterious. As they cross the difficult terrain, their senses are intensified alert to every sound and movement. With thermal imaging equipment in hand, both Russell and Ryan examine the area for any indication of the mysterious creature they've been tracking. A flash of heat drew their attention to a tree on the far side of the clearing. It was a short-lived strangeness, unlike the regular pattern on the thermal imaging screen. As they went slowly through the underbrush, the sounds of the forest seemed to close in on them. Nothing yet, let's keep moving up river a little bit. A sudden noise erupted alongside them, startling them. They exchanged confused stares, their senses indicating that something was wrong. Then their attention was directed to the water, where they discovered a disturbance. At first, they assumed it was a beaver, but thermal imaging revealed something unexpected. Who's right here? Despite being mostly submerged, the creature's eyes and face gave off a strong heat signature. Confusion overtook them as they attempted to make sense of the situation. They heard sounds that did not match the movements of a beaver, leading them to believe that something else was hiding. Then suddenly came a terrible sight, a heat sign in a tree high above them, where no creature should be. Russell notices it first using the drone's thermal camera, a faint glow against the black background of the forest canopy. It's temporary, gone nearly as quickly as it emerged, but it's enough to give the team a rush of excitement. Did you hear that? That was right here, please. Their suspicions were verified when they realized something was sitting high in that tree, which was an unusual sight given the cold night. The significant heat trace left behind showed that something substantial had been present moments before. As they moved deeper into the forest, the strange feeling grew stronger. The discovery of the triangle formed by the upside-down trees, the mountain, and the abandoned logging site increased their sense of gloom. Bryce's return to the logging site suggested a link between the accidents and the strange disappearances on the island. Returning to the abandoned logging site, Bryce's suspicions intensified, caused by the strange coincidence of locations and happenings. Could they have discovered previously disregarded evidence of Bigfoot's presence? They investigate the region, determined to locate clues that would help them solve the mystery. Driven by a desire to discover the truth, Bryce took the team back to the empty location, expecting to find previously unnoticed evidence. Despite the silence that surrounded them, he had a feeling they weren't alone. Motivated by this intuition, Bryce, in the logging site, decided to undertake an in-depth examination. Despite the unsettling silence and emptiness of the location, Bryce is desperate to find any overlooked evidence that will throw light on the unknown incidents. He wants to investigate the precise region where the worksite was located, as it remains uninvestigated. Bryce heads towards the river, hoping to locate DNA proof, footprints, or other tracks where objects were allegedly stolen. Then their journey took them to the riverbed, where they discovered an unexpected discovery. 
A hotspot on the thermal imaging revealed recent activity, causing a wave of interest among the team. Though the monster had fled into the trees, its residual heat signature remained, indicating its presence. As they continued their quest, the team realized they were getting close to something spectacular. With each step, they got closer to solving the forest's puzzles and discovering the mysterious creature known as Bigfoot. Despite the unnerving environment, they are determined to find the source of the heat signature. With each step, the suspense rises, heightened by the weird sounds emitting from the nearby trees. With each passing second, the team's drive to find the truth gets greater. Despite the risks that hide in the darkness, they continue on, motivated by the excitement of the chase and the possibility of discovery. And as they journey deeper into the unknown, they can't help but wonder what more mysteries are buried in the forest, waiting to be discovered? They gather in the forest, their minds racing with questions. What might have created the heat signature? Could that have been a bird settling down for the night? Or perhaps a little mammal, seeking refuge in the branches? As they move forward, the question remains. What other secrets are hiding in these old woods, waiting to be discovered? Will they be able to solve the riddle of Expedition Bigfoot before it is too late? As the journey progressed, each day presented new obstacles and discoveries. Their committed researchers spent weeks systematically examining the remote, mountainous forest of Northern California, where they discovered alarming evidence of Bigfoot's presence. During their journey, the team discovered two large nests hidden among towering fir trees and deep greenery. When the researchers examined the hares found near the nests, which were thought to be from a local wolf species, they discovered something startling. These hairs were extremely uncommon. This discovery could hold the key to solving the mystery behind Expedition Bigfoot, but the team's discoveries did not end there. While exploring the woods, they came upon a witness who told them disturbing stories about forest workers running in terror after hearing strange and unusual cries. What scared them the most was that the screams sounded like those of a woman, despite the fact that no women were there. Following this unsettling evidence, the team headed on an adventure to Prince of Wales Island in Alaska, which is thought to be a hotspot for Bigfoot sightings. This untamed and wild environment has become legendary for such encounters, with several witnesses attesting to ongoing incidents rather than simply historical reports. The crew narrowed their investigation to a 60 acre area centered on a remote mountain eight kilometers from the job site. The numerous sightings of Bigfoot-like animals in Alaskan towns are not surprising, as these stories have been around for a long time. It isn't only Bigfoot. Native American stories characterize these creatures as supernatural. Furthermore, opposing reports indicate that Bigfoot may be more hostile and aggressive in this region. Every step should be made with caution, as there may be more than just Bigfoot in the neighborhood, including carnivorous animals hunting their midnight urges. As the search for Bigfoot advanced, the team encountered various difficulties and problems. Their journey was dangerous, from dealing rocky paths to dealing with wild animals. However, their tireless desire and devotion to finding evidence of Bigfoot's existence remained constant throughout. Tales of mysterious animals have been passed down through generations in the region, with Native American mythology characterizing them as otherworldly beings. Conflicting reports suggest that these animals, typically connected with Bigfoot, may be more hostile and aggressive in this area. Every step taken by the expedition crew must be cautious, as they deal not only with the danger of encountering Bigfoot, but also other carnivorous species hiding in the darkness. Their journey takes them to a little alpine lake located two kilometers from the base of Gray Mountain, which is thought to be a hiding location for Bigfoot. Due to the restricted number of roads in the area, this lake acts as their primary route to their destination. Setting up their first base camp near the coast, Ronnie and Maria set off to explore the mountainside nearest to the work site, while Russell plans to study the other side. With Bryce directing activities from outside the target zone, the entire group sets out into the Alaskan wilderness, equipped with determination and advanced equipment. Among their instruments is a customized drone outfitted with an advanced gas sensor, which was initially developed to detect gas leaks in pipelines. Now repurposed, the drone has the ability to unearth evidence of Bigfoot-related chemicals, such as the distinct aromas of skunk, wet dogs, decaying meat, and feces. 
These chemical components, known as volatiles, provide key clues in the team's search for proof. As Ronnie and Maria explore the dense forest, Russell discovers a river that flows eastward into the ocean, miles distant from their location. Using the drone, they identify various areas where gases consistent with Bigfoot's stench have been identified. Maria studies the drone's first target, while Russell returns to study an animal skin-like thing discovered hanging from a tree. Despite obstacles such as poor weather and the presence of deadly wildlife, the team is determined to find solid evidence of Bigfoot's existence. They carefully explore over the forest, looking for tracks and other signs left by the mysterious creature. Because of the island's large bear population, the introduction of armed guards adds a new aspect to their mission, emphasizing the risks they confront in achieving their aim. Their trip brings them farther into the Alaskan wilderness, where weird incidents and difficult-to-understand phenomena only add to the mystery. From inverted trees to white Bigfoot sightings that resemble Yeti, each finding adds to the ongoing mystery surrounding these elusive animals. As they acquire additional proof and incidents from locals, the team remains committed to discovering the secrets of the Alaskan wilderness and the truth behind the Bigfoot mythology. The crew set out on a mission to unearth new evidence of Bigfoot-related substances using cutting-edge technology and specialized equipment, such as a modified drone outfitted with sensitive gas sensors. Skunk, wet dogs, decaying flesh, and excrement were examples of volatiles with a hydrogen-sulfur connection. By examining these chemical components, the researchers sought to detect any evidence of Bigfoot's presence in the surrounding area. Their journey took them to distant and inaccessible locations, where they faced tough hurdles, such as Devil's Club plants with sharp spikes that provided new risks at every step. Despite these challenges, the crew stayed determined, realizing that each hurdle gave an opportunity to capture significant evidence that could not be gained elsewhere. In their search for answers, the team's determination remained firm. With each step into the Alaskan wilderness, they kept focused on their ultimate goal, to document the presence of an unknown species and solve the mystery surrounding Expedition Bigfoot. Their willingness to take measured chances and persistent determination moved them forward, even in the face of adversity. Each setback increased their determination to push harder and explore deeper into the unknown, knowing that each discovery moved them one step closer to finding the truth. Their journey was far from over. The team's tour of Prince of Wales Island in Alaska brought them face to face with the unknown as they braved dense forests and dangerous surroundings in quest of hidden clues. Their efforts were met with both hurdles and successes as they overcame unanticipated obstacles and achieved significant discoveries. From researching strange hairs discovered near gigantic nests to investigating stories of terrifying cries echoing through the night, each evidence got them closer to solving the Bigfoot enigma. You see anything? Nothing. You guys have a visual? It, it should be right in front of you. It should be right here. As the team continued on, they met more than just physical barriers. They also encountered suspicion and doubt from individuals who questioned their results. But they continued undeterred, driven by a desire to discover the truth and a firm belief in Bigfoot's existence. As they pushed deeper into the bush, their discoveries became more profound and their determination grew greater. With each piece of evidence gathered and hints discovered, they got closer to discovering the secrets of Expedition Bigfoot. But their journey was far from done, and the secrets that awaited them were more confusing than they could have anticipated. As they continued to explore the untamed countryside, they realized that the truth was out there, ready to be revealed. With each step ahead, they got closer to discovering the truth about Expedition Bigfoot, the weird hairs caught on the Devil's Club further fuel the hypothesis that the team might be within the hunting territory of these creatures and the strange creature that had captivated their minds. And as they traveled deeper into the unknown, they couldn't help but wonder what other mysteries were lurking in the forest, waiting to be discovered. Russell and Maria were atop the glacier, their breath evident in the cold air as they surveyed the wide expanse of ice spread out before them. For weeks, the team had been tracking the mysterious creatures, following leads and chasing sightings throughout the rocky wilderness of Northern California and Alaska. They had traveled through inaccessible forests, risky mountain routes, and isolated valleys, 
but they had yet to encounter the beast they sought. Russell, an experienced tracker, furrowed his brow as he examined the horizon. Maria, equally firm, stood at his side, looking for any signs of movement in the dark landscape. They had come so far, traveling rough terrain and facing hard weather, all in pursuit of the mysterious beast fabled to exist in these freezing lands. However, as they journeyed across the snow-covered countryside, it became evident that their possibilities of seeing Bigfoot were limited. The dense tree canopy hid their view, and the snow-covered ground made it difficult to detect any tracks. Russell and Maria walked through the dense, snow-covered forest, their senses intensified and determination unyielding. With every step, they studied their surroundings for any indication of the elusive species they had come to find. With each passing hour, the forest seemed to press in on them, with trees rising ominously overhead. Russell and Maria stayed vigilant, continuously monitoring the forest for movement. They were aware that Bigfoot may be existing anywhere, concealed from view by deep forest. As the sun began to set, Russell and Maria realized they needed to find some place to stay for the night. They couldn't afford to continue their search in the dark, when the thing they were looking for could be hiding just beyond their sight. With a sense of a pressing need, they made the surrounding area for a good sight to spend the night. Finally, they came across a little clearing, protected by the deep foliage of the surrounding trees. It wasn't much, but it would give them some shelter from the weather. Did you hear something? Throughout the night, they listened closely for any sound that could signal the presence of Bigfoot. However, the woodland remained eerily calm, but for the occasional rustle of leaves or distant hoot of an owl. Russell and Maria exited from their refuge as daylight broke through the trees, eager to start their hunt. Even though the night had been long and tense, they were resolved to keep going, knowing that they were one step closer to discovering the truth about Bigfoot. As they moved farther into the forest, they started to notice clues of Bigfoot's presence. A broken branch here, a set of tracks there. With each new finding, their enthusiasm mounted as they realized they were getting closer to their prey. But just as they felt they were nearing their goal, calamity struck. Maria stumbled on a fallen log, injuring her ankle and falling into the snow. Russell's mind raced as he sought to figure out a solution. They were far from civilization and had no method of calling for help. If they were to make it out of here alive, they'd have to rely on their intelligence and drive. Russell made a temporary splint out of branches and pieces of cotton to disable Maria's ankle and led her to be along with the help of a temporary crutch. Despite the discomfort and cold, Maria would not give up. With Russell's assistance, she pushed on, determined to complete their task. As they moved deeper into the jungle, they came across additional evidence of Bigfoot's presence. A discarded bone here, a tuft of hair there. What the hell is this? Dude. To say it precisely, as they entered the open space, an overwhelming smell attacked their senses suggesting the presence of something evil. A terrible scene awaited them, a recent killing, its horrific remains strewn over the ground. The air was heavy with the metallic scent of blood, and the scene was a horrific tribute to violence. Among the confusion, Ronnie and his companions made a startling discovery. Large bones lay strewn among the gore, fractured and broken as if by an enormous force. The sheer size of the rib bones indicated a dangerous predator capable of dispatching victims with terrible effectiveness. They realized as they inspected the scene that this was no ordinary killing. The technique of destruction, the sheer brutality of the attack, indicated a predator unlike any they had seen before. This was not the work of an ordinary animal. It was the mark of a relentless and merciless hunter hiding in the wilderness's shadows. But just as they felt they were nearing their goal, a disaster struck again. A sudden snowstorm descended on the forest, covering the ground in a thick coating of white. As the storm subsided, Russell and Maria realized they were running out of time. They had lost valuable time due to the storm, and now they faced the difficult task of retracing their steps. With Maria's ankle still aching in pain, they knew they needed to find Bigfoot quickly if they were going to make it out of the wilderness alive. 
Russell and Maria set off again, grim determination on their faces, looking at the snow-covered terrain for any sign of activity. Despite the odds stacked against them, they remained hopeful. They knew they were closer than ever to locating Bigfoot, and they were willing to go to any length to locate the impossible creature. Hours passed as they walked through the snow, their pace slow and painful. But just as they were about to give up hope, they noticed something in the distance, a dark form moving through the trees. Russell and Maria exchanged puzzled glances. Who was this mysterious creature, and what was it doing to Bigfoot? They had so many questions, but for now, all they could do was stare in astonishment as the two beings vanished into the forest, leaving only a trail of footprints in the snow. Where they're gonna get more darkness. We're talking about a mountainous landscape three times the size of Texas. We would They realized their adventure was far from done as they stood there, gathering their breath and processing what they had just witnessed. They had seen something spectacular, something that would alter the path of their lives forever. But for the time being, they were pleased to celebrate in the fact that they had gotten closer than anyone else to solving the Bigfoot enigma. As they made their way back to civilization, their hearts were full with hope and interest for the upcoming experiences. Now, we can see the squad standing positioned at the edge of Hidden Mountain Lake, their senses intensified and anticipation hanging heavy in the air. Russell, stationed at his monitoring station, looked carefully at the screen showing thermal imaging data his fingers held over the controls of the attached drone. Ronnie and Maria, armed with thermal imaging devices, prepared to enter the deep forest surrounding the lake, their purpose clear, to force the elusive monster out into the open where Russell could study it from the drone. As Ronnie and Maria went into the forest, the lush greenery closed in around them. I got Ronnie and Maria on their way on the outside of this lake on both sides. They've actually separated. They both are equipped with thermal imaging producing unpleasant shadows and muted the sound of their footsteps. The forest floor was uneven, filled with fallen branches and hidden traps, so they had to go carefully to avoid damage. Their senses were intensified with each step, alert to the smallest rustle or crack of a twig. The air was thick with expectation, and the sensation of being watched sent chills down their spines. A rustling sound interrupted the silence, stopping Ronnie and Maria in their steps. Their hearts pound in their chests as they search for the source of the noise. Was the thing they were looking for lurking in the shadows? Was it just the wind playing tricks on their ears? Maria tightened her grip on her thermal imaging gadget as she surveyed the surroundings, her eyes moving back and forth looking for any indication of activity. Ronnie breathed in quick, shallow gasps as he listened closely, his senses on high alert for any sign of danger. After what seemed like an eternity, the rustling subsided, leaving only a whisper of wind across the trees. Ronnie and Maria exchanged nervous glances, knowing right away that they were not alone in the woods. Every fiber of their bodies tingled with tension as they strained their senses to detect any movement in the thickly forested area. Meanwhile, Russell waited impatiently at the monitoring station, staring at the thermal imaging data on the screen in front of him. The flashing photos revealed no indication of the thing Ronnie and Maria had encountered. Roger that, making uh, my move right now. Making Russell's cheeks flush with alarm as he considered the consequences of their interaction. If Ronnie and Maria did find the monster they were looking for, it was likely nearby, hidden in the shadows just beyond their line of sight. However, if the thermal imaging data failed to detect any heat signatures, it posed the disturbing possibility that the monster was hidden making it undetectable to their sophisticated technology. The stress in the air increased with each passing moment, weighing hard on the crew as they waited for word from Ronnie and Maria. Russell's fingers tapped impatiently on the drone's controls, scanning the dark woodland for any signs of movement or activity. The crew held their breath for hours, focusing their ears for any sound that could signal the creature's presence. The jungle's silence was deafening, interrupted only by the occasional chirp of a faraway bird or the rustle of leaves in the breeze. Finally, a crackling of static came from the radio, indicating Ronnie and Maria's return. Their voices rang out, tight and urgent, as they described their terrifying experience with the thing. They described a black form moving through the bushes, noticeable but unclear, 
vanishing into the darkness before they could get a good look. Russell's heart fell as he listened to their story, knowing that their greatest fears had been fulfilled. The beast they were looking for existed, and it was closer than they had thought. Sounds. Russ, I, I'm hearing something to my left. I heard it again. With fresh determination, the crew prepared to resume their quest, thinking they were on the verge of discovering something absolutely spectacular. As they descended deeper into the forest, their senses sharpened and their resolve grew stronger, fueled by the knowledge that they were about to unearth one of history's biggest mysteries. And could it be that they had finally found the creature they had been looking for, lurking deep in the forest? Or was it only a trick of the mind, a fiction of their imagination, caused by the weird stillness of the night? As Maria's voice faded into the unchanged, Russell's thoughts raced with questions, each more pressing than the previous. But before he could respond, another voice cut through the silence, sending shivers down his spine. It was Ronnie, and his voice was filled with urgency as he described their finding of a bizarre set of tracks moving deeper into the jungle. Russell's heart fell as he listened to Ronnie describe the music, and his mind raced with alternatives. Could it be that the creature they were looking for had left a trail for them to find? Or was it just a coincidence, a trick of the light that had thrown Ronnie and Maria off? With each passing instant, the tension in the air increased, weighing heavily on the crew as they faced the consequences of their discovery. Russell's mind raced as he planned their next move, captivated by the mystery that awaited them. But as the seconds ticked by, Russell realized that time was running out. If they were to discover the truth about the creature's rare nature, they would have to move swiftly, or it would slip through their fingers and vanish into the darkness once more. Following this, and the discovery of strange tracks deep in the forest, the crew realized they were on the verge of a breakthrough. Despite the uncertainty and danger that surrounded them, they were resolved to keep going, motivated by a tireless quest of the truth. As they grabbed their gear and prepared to follow the route, a sense of excitement hung in the air, mixed with anxiety. They knew they were going into unknown territory, into the heart of darkness where the thing waited. They remained determined, with Russell leading them from the monitoring station. Ronnie, where are you right now? And Ronnie and Maria leading the way on the ground, they set off into the unknown, driven by a sense of purpose and determination. As they disappeared into the jungle, their resolve was firm. They understood that the answers they sought existed beyond the darkness, waiting to be discovered in the shadows of the unknown. And with each passing second, they got closer to the truth, prepared to face whatever riddles lied ahead. Expedition Bigfoot is a huge contribution to human curiosity and the never-ending pursuit of the unusual. As the team pushed deeper into the woods, they discovered not only evidence, but also a genuine sense of wonder and homage for nature. Each journey was more than just a search for proof. It was also a journey of self-discovery, testing the boundaries of human endurance and persistence in the face of uncertainty. As they traveled through terrain and battled terrible conditions, the crew formed relationships that went beyond simple companionship, uniting them in a common quest for truth and understanding. Their thrilling and horrifying experiences have had an enduring impact on their lives, changing their viewpoints and strengthening their love for the natural world's secrets. Though the search for Bigfoot continues, Expedition Bigfoot has created a lasting impact, motivating numerous people to explore the woods, push the limits of knowledge, and embrace the unknown. And as the crew pursues its mysterious extraction, their trip serves as a reminder of the limitless possibilities of human curiosity and the appeal of the unknown. If you're a fan of interesting content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow us for more.